Women with endometriosis need support, not judgment known for years as the career woman's disease based on the idea that women without children develop disease in their reproductive organs. Endometriosis is a painful condition thought to affect 1 in 10 women worldwide. The condition occurs when tissue similar to the lining of the uterus, that is, the endometrium, grows outside the uterus. These tissues implant in and form lesions on organs, such as the ovaries, bowel and bladder. The condition can only be definitively diagnosed through surgery and because people often don't believe the symptoms being reported by women, diagnosis is often delayed. There's no cure and the cause of the condition is unknown. Treatments include hormonal therapy to inhibit growth of the disease and surgery to remove the lesions, but these often provide only short-term relief, and they have significant side effects, such as loss of bone density and the formation of scar tissue that can cause organs to fuse together. There is no cure and the cause of the condition is unknown. In the absence of a cure and effective long-term treatment, we need to turn our attention to how doctors and loved ones can provide care and support to women with endometriosis. Living with endometriosis in a systematic review of studies we published late last year, we found the condition affects all areas of women's lives. All the studies we looked at used qualitative research methods to examine women's experiences of endometriosis. This kind of research, which involves interviews and focus groups, is useful for capturing experiences that numbers and statistics cannot. Women spoke about the benefits of taking charge of the condition. They educated themselves about it and tried to destigmatize discussion of gynecological health with their family, friends and intimate partners. Many took it upon themselves to manage symptoms with whatever resources they had. Some changed their diet, for instance, while others rearranged their work and social commitments. Women's accounts of their condition showed that the way endometriosis was acknowledged by other people, such as their doctors, intimate partners and employers, could influence their experience of it. This could be positive if, for instance, partners educated themselves about the condition and helped manage it, or negative if, say, family members refused to acknowledge the Illness was real and not just bad period pain. And when little support was given, that made managing symptoms a bigger burden. Economics of endometriosis Endometriosis is an expensive disease. One of the factors contributing to its cost is the delay in diagnosis, which takes an average of five and a half years. In the meantime, women are often subjected to unnecessary investigations and treatments, all of which cost money. Then there's the cost of the surgery required for diagnosis and further surgical treatment. In our research, women highlighted the adverse impact of endometriosis on their ability to work. They spoke of the difficulty of performing certain tasks when under the effects of strong painkillers, with symptoms such as intense pelvic pain during menstruation and at other times, heavy menstrual bleeding and bowel and bladder problems, including cyclic diarrhea and constipation, it's not surprising that some women with endometriosis find it difficult to stay in paid employment. Because of the symptoms, some women with endometriosis find it difficult to sleep.